and we're back. Welcome back to Jump Dodge Shoot. We're playing Uncharted 4, and um, I'm... Can I skip the cinematic? Yes, you can go ahead. Skip, oh, the, skip away. Skip away. Skippity, skip, 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 skip. I'm Dodge, by the way. Yeah, you are. It's nice. Yeah. This is good. Jump Dodge Shoot. I, yes. I keep staring at that Lego set in the corner of the living room. That I haven't put together. Yeah, yet. that is seriously bugging me. I know. Are you ever I gonna put that to, together? Um, I I might put it together later today. Tell cool. our amazing audience what Lego set that is. That is the new uh, black and orange X-wing. I thoroughly enjoyed the new Star Wars movie. I know there's uh ah more lots. cinematics. <laughs> Although there's lots of people who did not enjoy the the newest movie. I am like one of the biggest Star Wars fans that you will meet. That is um, a fact actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the the only person that I know that's a bigger fan than me is actually my rival. We've been uh talking back and forth. We're we are a rival? You have a rival? Yes, I have a rival. I have a rival. No, we're, he's the guy that actually every time a new like a trailer for Star Wars comes out or a new piece of news oh, yeah. comes out, I'll watch it like 15 minutes uh, fifteen minutes after it releases. I'll be like, hey, 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 hey. I send him a link and he's like, oh yeah, I saw this 10 minutes ago. I'm like, fuck. Ah, oh, well, screw you. Is he one of those people who's like, yeah, it doesn't look good like right from the get-go? No, he's he's really cool too. Okay, okay. Because I run to people all the time. Um, when a new, like, okay, the Suicide Squad trailers came out. The Suicide Squad trailer just came out, well, months ago. And I already had friends who were like, oh, this looks like it sucks. I'm like, the movie's not even out yet. You can't just damn it you like can't, that. You can't just, yeah, that's You can't unfair. just say something so, I don't know. That's unfair to say. Although, um, I will go ahead and say it right now. Um, if... The new Justice League movie, when it comes out, if Cyborg does not say booyah, booyah! at least once, I am never again seeing a DC movie, no matter what it is, no matter how good it looks. You, uh, That guy just murdered a person. Boring Mario, no! <laughs> <laughs> I agree, though. Like We grew up with Teen Titans, and like that voiceover actor is just... The god of that character. Oh no. yeah, nice, not bad. Um, yeah, he has to say it. That's his line. Yeah, Ooh, right. Running through a hallway. It doesn't matter how serious the movie is. Um, some things that I like, I'm not sure if I enjoy. Yeah, I don't enjoy about DC is that they say, um, they watch uh, the new Marvel movies and they just publicly say we're not going to take that kind of joking tone with any of our movies and we it's like why not that. why not superheroes are fun your movies should at least be fun you're yeah like i know they they're trying to go for a serious tone why so serious but <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> nice full circle <laughs> yeah. they're trying to go for a serious tone and i'm not sure if i agree with that but you know Hopefully we get a good uh, DC movie. I haven't been really enjoying any of the DC. Movies. I was actually just about to say my my stigma with the the, the DC movies that have come out. Um, it's it's the way I feel after I watch the movies. Like I saw we saw Captain America: Civil War, and I immediately had the feeling of you know what I'm totally gonna watch this again. This was a lot of fun to watch. Even uh, in the theaters, I will shell out the money to go see it in theaters again. I've done that a couple times. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, triangle. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Triangle. Ooh, you triangle. Found, you found the triangle. Ooh, cooperation. You found the triangle. Um, All those kid games paid off. Find the triangle. I'm so glad I can recognize shapes. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I definitely had that feeling after I saw Gardens of the Galaxy. It doesn't even have to be uh, Marvel movies. Like uh, when Sam and I went to go see Ender's Game, we immediately saw that a second time in theaters. Uh, there's just something about. Uh, Something about horrible roofing that really steezes me. <laughs> All right, time to punch. More boring Mario's. More boring Mario's. <laughs> Except they don't even got mustaches. I mean, that guy sort of oh, does. Oh man, no, no sashes. Uh, so what? Yeah, 
Um, I do have some high hopes for Suicide Squad. It does kind of look quirky, and um, that's what I mean. Every comic book has some comedic, uh, some comedic elements. Right. It breaks up the action and it kind of brings you back down to earth after something super ground breaking and like hard hitting. And you know, comics aren't all that serious to begin with either. Mm, like I'll agree are, to an extent. Yeah, they are, but they at some point they do. They most comics will uh, will acknowledge the fact that you know, not that many. Like it's a, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. That it's a comic book and it's not so serious. But yeah, it's just have fun. Just and have I fun. think that's what a lot of DC I movies are kind of lacking in is. Um, just the fun aspect yes um yeah i am i we am are. looking forward to i am quite hopeful for plenty of dc movies yeah oh i'm future. absolutely going to watch them yeah. Oh, yeah when aquaman finally comes out i'm totally going to watch that as when, long uh, as as long as cyborg says booyah <laughs> yes <laughs> you know i'm pretty sure you're going to see aquaman regardless what am i supposed to be doing here because you you're an aquaman uh, I'm a fan. Person. Yes. Not even in an ironic way. Like, both Sam and I, we've done the research. We know that Aquaman's a seriously powerful character. Super strange. I think you're um, supposed to jump off the ledge. Really? Um, but those, just a guess. Those guys have guns and such. Oh. Yes. Just, just a guess. You made it. Good. Nice. Ah, uh, man, we are really good at winging it when it comes to breaking out of prison. We had no plan. We just kind of assumed that there would be ledges and stuff for us to jump on. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? This is, um... Uh, you just... I can just imagine you breaking out of prison. It's like, so where do we go? Well, um... um not here. There's no ledges, so I think we're kind of screwed. Yeah, if prison was just a concrete box, this would be so much shorter. <laughs> All right, I stabbed the guy, but we're still super stuck. <laughs> well, now we are... Now Ugh, Nathan, we look, come on. Now we look uh, both guilty and more murderers, so... Yeah. yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do if you're gonna be an adventurer. But, you know, you, you're you not the one who murdered <laughs> murdered him. You, it was... Oh, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, um. uh, I kind of liked that guy. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. I got shot by a bullet pretty bad. Yeah. That happens. You know, that's just part of being an, uh, an adventurer. You gotta roll up your sleeves, and you gotta, you gotta unbutton your shirt, and you have to grow stubble. Everybody knows that. I'm sorry, I wasn't really paying attention to you. It's fine. I was enthralled by I was. You this is a super emotional part of the story. Uh, I was. Uh, look, even even the even the screen is getting vignetted. Oh shit! Sure, I didn't even notice that. Yes. That's pretty subtle, actually. I like that. Oh yes, yes. Uh, this is what I was talking about. We're going through a jungly part, so clearly South America somewhere. That's such a broad statement. It's <laughs> South America. Yeah, one of the biggest continents, like. I'm going to go out on a limb and say you're somewhere on Earth? Someplace where they speak Spanish in a jungly area where they have prisons and oceans. I'm pretty sure you're not on Mars. I'm pretty sure. That'd be an amazing plot twist, though. <laughs> you would, I would have to kind of tip my hat to that. Like, wow, they Sony had a... Computer Animation presents... Oh, is this the intro? Cinematic. This is the... This is the that was the entire intro stage. Yes. Uncharted, Basically. a thief's end for, or maybe it's Uncharted Four, a thief's end. Or maybe that it's would make for a thief's end, Uncharted. Ralph Rupel, <laughs> Tegan Morrison, Waylon Brink, Submarine. Hey, that was from the first game. Yeah. Ah, oh, memories. Oh, by the way, this Jeremy this game Yates. is super nostalgic. Mm. Like super, super nostalgic. Oh, the demon golden statue. Oh, Sully. Sully. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm getting very excited now. I know. This Gatling game, this gun game asshole. You, I remember you. This game makes is very exciting. Uh, oh, this game has been so, oh, been waiting for this game. So world long. of emotions. I know, right? Robert Koberg, well done, dude. Aaron Daly. I'm glad they put the the credits at the beginning of the game. It saves me a lot of time. Ru <laughs> See, I'm, I'm really glad they're telling me um, the lead TD was Tyler Thornock. 
Do you know who a TD is? Mm -mm. I actually don't know who a TD is. A TD is a technical director, but I'm not sure what he does regarding video games. I oh. know that in a, like um, live productions, when we're Ooh. filming like basketball games and stuff, the TD is the one pushing the buttons. You know, the mm -hmm. director says, go from camera one to camera two. The TD is the one that says, okay, ready, camera one. Or the TD is the one that actually presses yeah, yeah, yeah. camera one. Go camera two. Blah, 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 blah. Transition. Thanks, Bruce Bay. Stanley and uh, Neil Duckman. Drunkman? Druck Druckman. 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 That is one N away from being drunkman. <laughs> 15, 15 years, years later. later. In another world. On Mars. On Mars. <laughs> Look at that. You're still in the ocean. <laughs> you got really good at swimming. <laughs> Really good at swimming. That's a lot of fish. It's the ocean. I like fish. Uh, I do too. Uh, I, I, really I'm pretty. I'm a vegetarian, but I um, I guess I identify more as like a pescatarian. Like I do eat fish. What's a what What's the def actual definition of a pescatarian? Pescatarian is um, you only eat fish and vegetables, and like the only meat product that you eat is fish. Okay. Okay. So, like, I love salmon, smoked salmon. It's, like, one of my comfort foods. And, oh, my gosh. Uh, I think it's lox, but it's just bagel, cream cheese, and smoked salmon is my jam. A little bit jam, too. Are you struggling with swimming? No. I'm doing, I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm here in Atlantis, and everything's great. <laughs> I would thank you not to belittle me like that in front of everybody. You're belittled. <laughs> <gasps> I found treasure. Ooh, treasure. Are you proud of me? I am pr very proud of you. Thank you. It's a very pretty treasure. It's a good fish. It's a good And I found it fish. because I'm an adventurer. The good fish. You know, like the good dragon, it's a good fish. Did you like that? Uh, wait, the good dragon. I Are don't you know. think of the good dinosaur? Uh, yes. <laughs> the good dinosaur. I liked that movie. I thought it was, um, it oh. definitely wasn't the best. Uh, was that a Pixar movie? Yes. It wasn't the best Pixar movie I've ever seen, but darn it, it was super entertaining. So, yes, I, I enjoyed it. Um, it. Again, it was, like <laughs> you said, it wasn't the most entertaining that I've, I, at least I don't think it was the most, under, most be, the best <laughs> Pixar movie. Man, I cannot talk today. Yeah, but it, it was super, good. It's it was good. super entertaining, um, and it was, it was super artistic. Something that I really enjoyed about that movie was the audio the sound design oh absolutely and the soundtrack, yeah. it was beautifully spot on most of the movie is silent most uh, there isn't a lot of talking uh which i enjoyed because we are talking about dinosaurs and you know and and just prehistoric creatures so oh man i'm, I'm expecting a giant shark to come out of nowhere I they have... were also, they were also, mm. you know, going. I enjoy that they were going with a very bold statement these days, uh, that you know, humans existed during the dinosaur age. Oh, uh, that's true. Yeah. Like most people don't. Uh, most people say like, no, humans didn't exist when dinosaurs existed. But no. Uh, really quick, where am I supposed to go? Uh, you're supposed to go back into. The... Wait a second. Oh, okay. Is that treasure? It's a box. It's something you can press triangle on. That's all you need to know. You know, you know, you might not, you might just have to spend a whole 24 hours in the ocean because we're coming up to a minute mark. And, you know, <sighs> you're ugh, right. I hope your scuba tank can uh, last you that long. It will. It's a video game. It'll be fine. <laughs> I, I, I hope you know this. this is not actually real. What? <sighs> ah, yeah, I just blew your mind. Oh, my God. You're freaking welcome for that truth. Wow. What's this triangle? Um, yes, it's another triangle. I must have just you ignored must, it completely. Have, oh, man. Oh, man. I must be such an idiot. Okay. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Thanks. Thanks for your confidence I tease, in me. I tease. Thanks for your confidence in me. That's a lot of seaweed. Where's my uh, partner in crime here? Um, he's on there the radio. There he is. Yo, dog. Cool. Your, your this looks like a pretty good stopping your partner point. Partner in crime is a uh, thing. 
Emo Bob? Well, everybody, we learned some valuable lessons. Mainly, don't die and don't get shot by bullets. Thank you for watching, JGS. Jump, don't shoot. <laughs>